up guys it's your girl Shayna welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna show you how to build a champagne wall all right so guys I'm outside it's loud it's noisy so I'm just like letting you know what's going on hello but those who don't know my real face this is my real face oh anyways yeah so we're gonna get into it I'm outside it's noisy um I have my miter saw or one of my miter saw that I brought I'm gonna put the camera I brought this one outside Alright, so I brought this one outside and over here, let's try to this over here, we have some uh, one by four. So here we go, we're going to see if we can survive on this small, small table here. And we're going to start this with my shirt, my shirt is my old shirt, it's my old shirt, it's my old, but yeah, so, alright, put the camera down, we're going to get into it so you can see what I'm doing over here. So here we go. Yes guys, so now I have successfully cut out six pieces of the wood for the middle piece. So here we go. So right now I have this piece here. I see those little holes I drew and I'm going to use my, my drill and I'm going to be drilling holes in those little spots where you see me pointing my fingers. So keep watching and you'll see. Yeah, so I changed a bit to the Forstner um, one inch bit on my drill and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use some pressure, apply pressure and drill through those holes.
now that I complete these holes, I went back over to my miter saw and I, I thought I was making a video guys and I wasn't. So you see how I cut those little holes? So you see where I make those pencil marks? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my miter saw to make those cuts. Guys, you can also use a jigsaw. I ha you could use a table saw, you could use whatever saw you have. I have a jigsaw and I just feel like the miter saw would have given me a faster and cleaner cut. So that's why I'm using my the miter saw as I already have it out. So one thing you gotta make sure, sure when you're cutting this is that you don't go too far. Remember, we have a hole there. So if you go too far, <laughs> you're gonna cut through those holes and you're gonna end up cut that in two. And then you have to go buy more wood and start all over. So just have to remember that you don't go too far. You have to anticipate or just make sure you're paying attention that you don't go too far down to the hole, okay? So now I have successfully cut out six, I think it's six holes on each of those racks. So six holes so the wine glass can sit on top. So now here we go. I have successfully complete all six shelves, six holes that is cut, cutting out. I would, I'm not going to show you me cutting out everything because you know, I don't want you to skip past this video and you'll be here till next week watching it anyway. So I just show you one and I went ahead and I did the rest off camera. So there it is. So now what I'm going to do as these were cheap lumbers, I am going to use my sander and I'm starting out with a 600, sorry, a 60 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding down this one. Once I was done sanding this down with a 60 grit, I went straight to like 120 and from 120 to 220 grit sandpaper. And I did that with all six pieces of shelves. So there we go. Once I was done sanding down my shelf, I went ahead and I cut the pieces for the border. It's starting getting late, you can see the light is on. So yeah, I started this project around like four in the evening. Four or five, I don't remember, but yeah. So cut those down and I'm just cutting everything down and I'm gonna call it a night after I'm done cutting this. I was gonna screw this up, but then I realized that I need help bracing the wood. So I'm just gonna call it a night. My sister is gonna come over tomorrow and she is going to help me out in the morning holding these things. I have clamps, but my clamps are not big enough. Plus I wanna make sure it's level and it's on the grass. You can't get a level surface on the grass. So tomorrow I'm gonna have her come over and she's gonna help me out. Fiona, look at her. That's Fiona. She can't even help me. She tracing. Um, she's looking for um, what they call the scrolls and all those creatures that outside she's looking for. But anyways, we're on to the next day. There I go. So I have everything here. My sister came over. She helped me hold it together, so I could screw it up. Not screw it up like and screw it up, but like screw <laughs> the pieces together. Like, that's my sister feet right there. I'm making this for her. Um, she's gonna have a relaunch of her business. She actually has a business online that does makeup. I am going to post it in my description below. So you can go ahead and check her website out. So if you wanna like purchase something from her on the behalf of me, you just wanna view it, browse it, be nosy, whatever you wanna do, just click on that link and go you take you right to my sister's website. So right there we have everything. I'm gonna be using my drill. And we're going to use the drill to fasten these pieces together inside of the frame. And after doing that, this is what it looks like. It kind of looks like a bed. The bottom frame of a bed. Uh, I don't know. It looks good. But yeah, so that's what we did. We put it together. We went off camera and did that because we had to move it. We have to bring it underneath. I brought it underneath the pergola or pergola, whatever they call it. Because it was more like a firm, um, kind of more level space. So I brought it there. We screwed it. We screw it up not screwed but put it together anyways this is the back piece so i brought that over and i placed that on top of it and i am just making sure that it's like it fit properly it's like fully level square and all that because we went to home depot to buy this piece of lumber and we had it, the guy cut it to the exact measurement that we had because i need to fit my car and we went home and we had to like what a compromise to make it work because it was like a little off the way how he cut it, it wasn't like fully straight so you'll see me running around and thing like a little um merry-go-round trying to make sure everything is straight so that's all i do <laughs> keep going around going around to make sure it's straight just to ma manipulate it to make it fit 
in the best way we could let it fix or get it to fix. So, all right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my nail gun and I'm gonna be using, I think I'm some half inch, I think it's half inch um, nails to shoot that through to hold it back on the, the wall. The back on the wall? I don't know, but yeah, I use some half inch nails and I use my nail gun and I shoot that in to keep it together. So yeah, that's all I did. So yeah, keep watching guys. I just want to take the time out to welcome each and every one of you watching or each and every one of you visiting this, visiting this channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Shayna. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If you enjoy content like those or if you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Make sure you type me a new comment. I'll get back to you. All right. So this is what my champagne wall looked like so far after it's been fully assembled. I'm not gonna say fully screwed up because then you're gonna think that, oh shoot, she screwed it up. But yeah, I really didn't screw it up. It's kind of like, let's use the word assemble. All right, you agree with me? Type me a comment, let me know if you agree with me on that word, screwed up versus assemble. So yeah, this is what it looks like. I went ahead and I used some um, wood fillers to fill some little spot. We're gonna let that dry overnight. We're gonna sand it down and we're gonna come back to it the next day. All right, here we go. We're on to the next day. That's the paint I used. We chose to use that paint because it was left over and we already had it on hand. Plus it's like a satin exterior finish and this is probably gonna be inside, outside and the satin finish, you could always wipe that off. Being that it's gonna be a champagne wall and the way how we make this, you can fill the glasses with champagne. So you can easily wipe it off with that type of paint. So this is at my sister's house. We decided to bring it to her house. There she goes, clapping mosquito. We're gonna like the bush, the bush at the back of the house outside because we didn't want to get paint all over in her yard. So we like open the back gate and go into the woods. So there we go. That's me over there. This is the same day. I just changed my clothes to some regular, some old clothes, so the paint won't get my, you know, my previous clothes painted. <laughs> so that's me. The paint, the paint gun get messy. Sprays all over here. It gets white, like your grain and all that stuff. All those clothes, they're like gonna be going in the garbage after because it has sprayed all over. I have my um, mask on because you know, guys, y'all know if you've been here for a long time, I have really bad allergy. And everything sets it off in this time or sign up my sinus is like oh, it's just off the chain but yeah that's what it looks like after we finish putting two coats of paint on the the wall so this is what it looks like we're just going through we're gonna leave this and we're gonna call it a night we're now about I think it's about like maybe six seven o'clock in the evening so we're gonna leave this out we're gonna call it a night it's not gonna rain we're gonna put it underneath her um, pergola or pergola i could never get it right so once we're gonna it somewhat dry we're gonna put it under there and it stays there and then i went on vacation and then when i came back from vacation or i'm gonna when i came back or when i got back i don't know when i got back from vacation i continued the work so that was it for like i think a week um then we continue when i get back so yeah that's just the view enjoy the view you like her flowers she has some beautiful flowers yep mm -hmm. So again, like I said, after a week, I went back to my sister's house and I recreated the decal. And now I am cleaning off the surface with 91% alcohol. Wanna make sure there is no dust, there is no type of fur or anything to 
prevent our vinyl from sticking down. We were originally going to paint on the word cheers. That's what she wants. But then we changed our mind and said, hey, why not use permanent vinyl? Vinyl. <laughs> why not use perma permanent vinyl just in case? Because she's going to be renting this after her launch party. So we decided to use vinyl and the team of her stuff is like a blush pink. So we use that vinyl and then we say, you know what? If, I'm, if she's going to rent this and some people, she she has also have to pick it herself. Um, but so she's thinking that we could, why am I saying we? Her could um, actually change the writing to colors that people want. So if we paint it on, then we don't have that option versus using permanent vinyl to put up there you could always change it what if somebody needs the word to be black you pay an extra fee and you get cheers in the word of black what if you wanted to say uh bubbly or champagne or whatever you pay an extra fee and you'll get that on to the champagne wall and rent it as well so here we go i'm just lining up the letter i'm pretty sure if it's not your first time here you guys are probably tired of seeing me doing these little vinyl on wood but yes yeah, so if it's not your first time enjoy watching how i do it okay so that's what I'm doing, lining it up, making sure everything is straight. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to, you know, start applying it to the champagne wall. So just, you know, there we go. It's on it. So we're just going to go ahead once, you know, I'm just showing you closer. It's on it. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to peel off that transfer tape. Yeah.
guys so this is what it looks like so far see I'm showing you the bottom part right down there we are going to cut a two pieces of wood to, for it to stand up firm. I mean, it stand up, we have it leaning here, but it can stand up by itself, but we want to blow over, fill with 30. This one that we make, it fills 30 glass of champagne. Um, glass, 30, yeah, 30 champagne glasses could fit into this one that we made here. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to, I keep saying we and I'm, cause you know, my sister, she's like my little side, person on the side to help me hold these things you know she kept saying oh you gotta have a lot of patience to do this i don't know how you do it because she gave up since day one <laughs> she gave up i'm like nah we good we good we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there but it took us a total of three days to make this not knowing what we're doing you know we have no experience i know i could cut wood i could do all that stuff but anyways here we go i'm over on a different side i'm gonna make some measurement i think the measurement we measured was like 25 25 inches yeah 25 inches on both pieces I'm there measuring once I'm done measuring that I'm gonna draw a straight line with my square and then we're gonna go back over to the miter saw and we are going to cut so keep watching and you'll see what I'm doing okay So after cutting these two pieces of wood, we went ahead and I used some um, screw and we screw it. <laughs> we attach it to the bottom. I'm gonna stop saying screw. We attach it to the bottom and we started painting it and we ran out of paint. As I said, we were using leftover paint. So that's why it's not finished paint, but I'm not going back to my sister house. She is gonna finish painting that part. So that's why you see it looks like this. I am going to be having an update on what it looks like at the day of the party. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. She's gonna finish painting. We are not professional guys. We're just trying something out. She, these things are expensive to rent. It was like $600 to rent it. We're like, I said, I could make that. You don't need to do all that. We could make this for cheaper. It was a lot of work, so I could see why they would charge that much to make it. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I just wanna say, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell also make sure you share this video with your friends and family
Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.